Erev Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Guys, this is not a good news broadcast this evening. Uh, we have been doing a lot of research. We know there is tensions of war everywhere in the world. Constantly it's going on. Uh, we know that in China, let me just kind of break this before I bring this up here. We know according to RT, prepare for possible war on water over South China Sea. Tensions, Beijing tells their citizens there. Uh, the Chinese defense minister has warned uh, the tension situation in South China Sea possesses, uh, possesses the threat of a direct confrontation and has called on the military police and general population to be ready to defend the country's territorial integrity. Now, guys, there's more going on than what you realize. It's not just China telling their citizens to get ready for a possible war over the seas, but they may be getting ready because of a conflict that's going to escalate and spiral out of control, and it may have a lot to do with what I'm about to share with you now. This is in Ukraine. This video is in the Donsk region. Uh, this, what you're about to see, and I'm going to let it start playing on the screen and behind me here um, so that you can see this here. You're seeing a military personnel carrier right now. You're about to see, though, on the screen and behind me here, tanks. Uh, I apologize for the lighting on the screen there. Hopefully you can still see that. Uh, there uh, from the black part. The lighting there is from our own lighting here in the studio. Uh, but anyway, now you can see the tanks there. These are Russian tanks in the Donsk region. Uh, they are there. It looks as if Russia is finally sending in the forces to do something about the constant slaughter of the Ukrainian citizens that are, that are in this region here. It has been a devastating onslaught of uh, Ukraine's people, and Russia, maybe they've had enough. I'm not really sure. Uh, let me kind of give you some idea about this, and it's a long row of tanks here. Uh, right, right there, let me just pause it. There's uh, the gas station there. Now, we're going to let it play on a little bit more in just a second. Let me show you something here. I don't know how well you can see this on your screen. This man right here, he says here in, uh, whether, uh, in the Russian language, he's actually saying the video on the street of Podrosky, Donsk, uh, in a 22 to 23 seconds, a visible gas station parallel on 41 and 44 second TV tower is visible. Uh, he's talking about that he knows it's in the Donsk region. That's what this man is saying right here in the video. This is done on August the 1st of 2016. Let me just blow this up for you guys so you can see this, so you know what we're talking about on this here, just so you can see the date on the, of the video, August the 1st, 2016, all right? We just now hit August the 3rd, I believe, is where we're at. So... Let's go back. Let's look at the video. Let's continue on with it for just a moment. Uh, again, it is believed to be Russian tanks. If it is, according as the man said, this is on the Donsk region. Uh, he said from what he can see in the video, the man does seem to know what he's talking about. I don't know what the flags are myself on these tanks here, but that is a huge line of tanks there. And according to the people that are making comments on the video, these are Russian tanks. Now, let me show you, share with you some more though real quick. This man right here though, happens to his site is for the Ukrainian army. Notice the video he posted here three months ago. And this is the Ukrainian army showing you the different things that the Ukraine army does. The Humvees and stuff the United States has supplied the Ukrainian people with. But he is, from what it appears to me, is a Ukrainian uh, man. All right. So he's trying to figure out what's going on here about these tanks that, are, that we're seeing here. Now, let's just jump forward a little bit again. You can see the tanks. There's a lot of these tanks here. The line goes on and on and on and on. They just keep walking. It's a long line of tanks there in Donsk. Now, Donsk, guys, is uh, the eastern part of Ukraine. It's right there at the border of Russia. 
Okay, this is where Donsk is. This is where Donsk and Luhansk is the regions there where the self-proclaimed republic uh, of, that, are, that are fighting for their independence. This is in Donsk right here. This just came out today on their own news channel here as well. Listen to it. I'll turn up the volume a little bit for you. This is what they undergo daily. They're fighting back. They're being attacked by the Ukrainian forces, the people in Donetsk. And it's just a few men that are trying to hold them off. They're lobbing back grenades, everything else. You know, it's just not a good situation. Because why? They're Russian-speaking people. Um, and so for them, Life is not good. Now, another thing that happened, too, while I'm sitting there getting all this news together, another very odd thing was the fact that the police, this is a Ukrainian police, though, they arrest a priest coming back from the Donsk region, and this priest, Catholic priest, he's a monk, is carrying grenades, RPG launcher. I mean... This is insane, a Catholic priest. And I, I found this myself. I was doing a little digging. You know, I'm always digging to see what's going on. But you, you, have, the, you have RPG launchers. He's got grenades. And then he has the audacity to tell, and this is Ukrainian police here, right? He tells them he's using it to stun the fish. Are you serious? I mean, is anybody really going to buy this? Uh, I mean, now, you might think that that's not true, but let me just show you. There's not many news media reporting this yet. There's the priest right there. Police detain priests with grenades and grenade launcher in Donsk region. Okay, there's the grenades. There's all the stuff that he's got. He's got him a little bit of sausage packed away with it as well. Uh, there's a couple other uh, news, very small. Here's another one that picked it up as well. The Mega News picked up the article as well. The police have him in custody. He is a priest. The, they actually say in Russian there on the, uh, on the Russian part of it, the, the police officer said he was shocked. He said, I've never seen in my life before a priest toting weapons. Uh, well, back during World War II, you'd have probably seen a, a lot more of it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick there. Uh, now, let's quickly go back again. As I'm saying, tanks, guys, tanks are in Donsk region. Now, I shared with you a little bit back here not too long ago how that Ukraine had sent 40 tanks to the contact line. They're doing that for what reason? To draw Russia into this conflict, guys. That's what they were doing it for. Now, let me see. Let me just see if I can. This is what got this all started. So you have to understand, now this is the Ukrainians backed by the Obama administration. I don't even want to say backed by the United States government. Because you know what? I don't believe that the United States people are in support of President Obama and his reckless behavior uh, in trying to conquer the entire world for Rome. Uh, you know, this here is where the Ukraine government with the Ukraine flag flying on the tanks. They bring in about 40 tanks here to the front lines here. Uh, this is a major issue that's going on right here. So they're bringing in all these tanks here, one after another, after another, after another, coming up here to the front line. This, is, uh, this was captured, just so happened to be by a pro-Russian Ukrainian that captured this and then put this up. Uh, this only happened, what, a, about two weeks ago when I first shared this. I moved it forward a little bit because I want you to see when they go to turn around, they're going to face, and you'll see just a huge number of tanks, armored personnel carrier, etc. One person wrote me, there it is, right there. See, all the tanks up there. They said, but where is the military? The OSC, who is the monitors in the region there, had actually stated, let me get this off there, guys. I'm sorry about that. Maybe I get that light out of there. I still can't get that light off the screen. I apologize for that. I didn't get the light the right way. Anyway, the OSC had, 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 had already seen the troop movement by Ukraine towards Donbass, but they would not allow the OSC anywhere near this area here. This was what was brought up in the report here where they were bringing the tanks into this area. They have been shelling. They have been constantly bombarding. I've seen videos where people, women are, are crying out because their families are being murdered left and right. And finally, it looks like I guess Russia has had enough. Enough is enough for Russia. 
And this is what we're seeing here. It's not being reported in the news from, from the people that are speaking about it. This is Donsk is where it's at. No one really knows the date. It's been released today, August the 1st. Uh, uh, so the question is, is who is it? They're there in Donsk from what people are saying. Uh, another thing that was interesting, and let me just share this with you as well. Here on Twitter, this guy right here, now see, I'm searching in Russian, and you guys probably can't see this. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit closer for you. Here we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm, I'm using the Russian language to be able to search for these things here. All right, so we have right here, this was another one. Now, this is a totally different guy. This is the one that brings out the tanks that are, that are, that are Russian tanks there. This just came out August 1st, and then... Oddly enough, though, this guy right here, all right, he actually, it's in Russian, but I, you know, they, they allow you also to view a translation, it says FS, he tells this guy right here, suspect tanks soon, tanks, what tanks? I think he's talking about Russian tanks, August the 2nd, so now we have, Ukraine has their tanks there, as they brought them in already, now Russia seemingly has brought tanks in as well guys we may be getting into a war here and it's not a good picture right now at all it's not looking good at all and uh, another thing that was really kind of odd as well was uh, and maybe I can drop back and pick this up as well let me just see if I can back up to it there uh, there was a there was uh, another one that was just really odd there. It's one of John Kerry's men uh, was actually headed to Ukraine. Uh, and I saw his uh, tweet on there. And it's in one of these right here, right in this area here. And I forget exactly where. I just started searching to look at some of the news that was going on. And then I run across... Uh, when I saw, I saw one of the, uh, the uh, administrative people for the United States headed to Ukraine, he had responded to one of these guys on here, and it caught my attention. And, uh, and I'm like, whoa, wow, what, what in the world is going on here? Um, this has nothing to do with anything there, guys. I apologize there. But anyway, let me just see if I can find him again. Uh, because he's, re he's responding to the English Luhansk. Maybe it's actually on his page I found that. Let me just see. Yeah, here it is, right here. Jeffrey uh, uh, Pyatt. Now, this is 16 hours ago. He says, very glad to see that the OSCE here in Ukraine and traveling to Kramat uh, Kramatorsk. I don't know if that's there or what, but... They have an American official. If you click on him, on Gregory, you can see he's there with John Kerry there. They're going into, uh, I'm assuming he's getting ready to go into that area. I have not looked up the name of the place that he said he's going to. Uh, let me just pull it up real, real quick, guys. While we got you live right here on the news here. Well, you're not live, but I, I just, this, this is blowing me away, guys. I mean, and then we see China. We see what China, China's saying. Now, this is why I actually had this light up here, guys. Even though it's kind of a nuisance there, it helps me to, uh, when we got a white screen here, not to have a problem there. Now, let's just see what we have here. Want to see exactly where he's actually going there. Uh, okay, he is going, he is going to Ukraine. Definitely no doubt about that. He's actually going to Ukraine. Okay, he's going... He's actually going to a place on the outside of the contact line. Oh my gosh, guys, this is, this is blowing me away. This guy right here, uh, Jeffrey Pyatt, is going to just outside the uh, contact line. Ukraine uh, embassy, uh, looks like it's who he works for. He's working there. He's going near the contact line. Russia appears to have tanks going in there. Ukraine's got tanks going in there. Guys, we got an explosive situation, very explosive situation, uh, without a doubt. And I'm just scrambling to find out everything that's going on, see what's happening, uh, what's going on in this area there. I am so concerned. And then we find out uh, China, prepare for possible war on water over South China Sea tensions, Beijing tells its citizens. Guys, it's not good. 
pray, 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 guys. Understand, please, those of you, America is our country just as much as it is yours. We love our country. We definitely need an administration change, and you definitely do not need Hillary Clinton in the White House. Uh, I, I can't say who would be the best choice there. Right now, Donald Trump and Pence seems to be the better choice. And I'll, the main reason I say that is because Donald Trump is willing to make peace with Russia. We need something to settle this down before it spirals out of control. And I just hope it doesn't spiral out of control before, the, before Obama even leaves the office. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.